Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski are considered to be the greatest quarterback and tight end duo of all time. But after Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey won their second Super Bowl together, they are looking to steal that title. So today I'm taking both duos and starting their careers over as 80 overalls. They will be competing to complete 25 unique challenges. They can earn upgrades to help complete challenges by winning games. Regular season wins are worth one upgrade point, playoff wins are worth two upgrade points, and Super Bowl wins are worth five upgrade points. The upgrades then will be distributed to a random stat category decided by this wheel. Now it's time to go over all 25 challenges. Both members of the duo reach a 99 overall, record 5,000 passing yards in a season, record 12 touchdown catches in a season, win the division, finish with a top 5 record in the league, record 25,000 career passing yards, win a playoff game, win a head-to-head -head matchup, finish with a top 10 record in the league, record 500 career receptions, record 10 touchdown catches in a season, finish the season with a 70% completion rating, record 1,000 career receptions, record 50,000 career passing yards, win a Super Bowl, record 200 career passing touchdowns, record 1,200 receiving yards in a season, win 12 games in a season, record 100 receptions in a season, record 40 passing touchdowns in a season, win 14 games in a season, record 45 passing touchdowns in a season, record 75 career receiving touchdowns, record 400 career passing touchdowns, record 75,000 career passing yards. If a challenge is completed by both duos in the same season, the square will then be split and given to each of them. The first duo to complete 13 of the 25 challenges will be crowned the greatest duo of all time. Here's a look at the cops, Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski back in the Patriots offense, while the robbers Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are ready to steal all of their glory. Now it's time to simulate the first season to see how the duos perform. Mahomes and Kelsey were able to help the Chiefs win nine games this season, while Brady and Gronk had a tougher time only winning six games. Mahomes went on a tear through the air and completed the 40 touchdown challenge, and Kelsey knocked out two challenges himself with over 100 catches and 1,200 yards. Brady wasn't able to tie with Mahomes for the challenge, but had a very solid year. Gronk seemed to struggle a bit, however, but at least he got 69 catches. Jalen Hurts wins a much-deserved MVP award, and now the playoffs are here, but neither of the duos are in it, but we still have to congratulate the Buffalo Bills on winning their first Super Bowl in franchise history. Time to distribute the first batch of upgrades to both duos. Starting with the quarterbacks, Mahomes gets 9 while Brady gets 6, and it looks like they will be seeing some improvement to their physical stats, so I will boost their speed and strength. Now it's time to see what upgrades we will be making to Kelsey and Gronk, and hey, it's a good one. Their route running is getting a boost. This is certainly going to help them find the end zone more, hopefully. To wrap up the first season, the cops unfortunately couldn't find a way to complete any challenges, while the robbers were able to steal 3 off the board. Well, fellas, year two is certainly starting off with a bang as the Patriots are visiting the Chiefs in the second game of the season. Here it is, guys, a head-to-head -head matchup between Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, between Rob Gronkowski and Travis Kelsey, who is going to come out on top and take this challenge. And as usual, I am going to be super simming until there's something cool we can watch. The Chiefs defense was able to stop the Patriots, and now Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey find themselves in the red zone, and Patrick Mahomes finds Travis Kelsey for the first down. Mahomes and Kelsey were unable to catch in on a touchdown so they are bringing out the field goal unit here to take a three-point lead and no they're not they're faking it dude they are faking it like why why it wouldn't be a madden sim without at least one fake field goal here and there but now it is a field goal attempt for the patriots and they're faking it and they actually it, no way the how how does this work john U. smith 32 yards on a fake field goal for the touchdown when i see the fake field goal happen i forget how to speak english but right here we have a first and 10 now patrick mahomes looking to try to tie this game up he finds travis kelsey who gets rocked oh my goodness what a hit and what a recovery in return for the patriots what is going on the only action here in the second half so far has come from two patriots field goals but they just picked off mahomes setting them up with great field position i know it isn't a blowout but i thought this game would be much closer to say the very least right here play action just outside of the red zone but brady's taking a shot to the end zone and what a catch by Devonte parker 21 points with under two minutes left in the game might be a little too much for mahomes magic but let's see what has he got up his sleeve right here he has a touchdown he has a touchdown the onside kick attempt went in favor of the patriots which means that tom brady and rob gronkowski won the head-to-head -head matchup although there weren't a ton of flashy plays in the game both duos actually performed rather well ironically enough the chiefs won nine games again this season but this time it was enough to make the playoffs while the pats won six games again and well that's not very good mahomes had a solid year again but wasn't able to complete any single season challenges same goes for kelsey he had a great year but no single season challenges were completed this time around brady was just two touchdowns shy of 45 and one percent off of 70 which could have been two huge challenges off the board for the cops and gronk was a touchdown catch away from completing a challenge too wow bad 
dead beats all around. Josh Allen secures himself MVP of the league. The playoffs are here, and this time around, we get to watch the Chiefs go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ravens. The only challenge completed this year has been by the cops when Brady and Gronk beat Mahomes and Kelsey in a head-to-head -head matchup, so this playoff game is extremely important. Per usual, I'm going to be super simming until there's something cool we can watch. The Ravens had a pretty solid opening drive, setting Justin Tucker up for a 47-yard field goal, bro! What is happening today? Like, what is going on, man? Well, after that big field goal, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey have worked the ball all the way down inside the 10-yard line of the Ravens, and here's a handoff to Isaiah Pacheco, and Isaiah Pacheco is running angry. That's a touchdown. Things are looking real good for the Chiefs. Lamar just threw an interception. They have the ball at the five. Here's Patrick Mahomes coming out in the shotgun, third and goal from the five-yard line. Let's see. Can the Ravens get a stop of their own, or is Patrick Mahomes going to slice and dice touchdown, KT? They say when it rains, it pours. Clyde Edwards Hilaire just ran for a 31-yard touchdown. Lamar Jackson is one of the most talented quarterbacks in the entire NFL. You know he's not going to go down without a fight, and here he is now first and goal from the nine, and he delivers a strike to Devin Duvernay for six. And before the first half even comes to an end, the Ravens got back down into field goal range and cut the Chiefs' lead to 11. The only points that have been scored in the entire second half came from a Chiefs field goal. They have a 14-point lead, but this is probably the most important play of the game. Fourth and goal for Lamar and the Ravens, and it's incomplete! Oh my goodness! The Ravens would need nothing less than a miracle to somehow tie this game up and send it into overtime. Fourth and eight from their own 31-yard line. Lamar's heaving it down the field, and it's caught inbound, so that doesn't matter too much. The Chiefs come out on top, and Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey complete the playoff win challenge. Mahomes and Kelsey weren't able to do anything else in the playoffs this year, and now it's time to congratulate the Bengals on winning their first Super Bowl in franchise history. With 11 upgrade points for Mahomes and 6 for Brady, it's time to see what stat category we are going to be boosting, and this time, it's going to be pocket stats. So I'm going to max out Mahomes' awareness and boost his break sack with the leftover points, and just used all 6 points on Brady's awareness. Now it's time to see what upgrades we're going to be making for Kelsey and Gronk, and again, it's going to be to their route running, so I'm going to be evenly distributing the upgrade points as best as I can to each stat. The cops finally find themselves on the board after winning their head-to-head -head matchup against the Robbers, and the Robbers scored a point of their own by winning a playoff game. The AFC West was so bad this year that the Chiefs were able to win the division with a record of 8-9, and nine, completing another challenge for the Robbers. And the Patriots went crazy this year, securing the AFC East title with over 12 wins, being the best team in the entire NFL, which completes four challenges for the cops. Mahomes had the chef hat on this year with how he was cooking. He completed the 5,000 yard challenge. Kelsey is crushing every year. He just can't seem to score a ton of touchdowns. Brady didn't have the craziest stats this season, but he did complete another challenge for the cops with over 70% completion rating. Gronk is just quietly chugging along in the Patriots offense, waiting for his chance to break out. Wow, Mahomes won MVP. I honestly didn't expect that. Imagine if we got a Patriots Chiefs playoff game. Oh my goodness, the patch choked in the championship round and the Bengals shocked the league with a repeat in the Super Bowl. The cops secured 15 upgrade points this year while the robbers were only able to get themselves eight and oh boy throwing stat upgrades this is going to be a huge boost for Brady those upgrades to Brady can set him ahead of Mahomes big time now let's see what upgrades will we be making to Kelsey and Gronk oh their physical stats I promise this is going to be the fastest you ever see either of these guys man it was a huge season for the cops as they won their division which gets split with the robbers but they also were a top five team in the league a top 10 team in the league Brady had over 70 percent completion rating and they won over 12 games while the robbers only had one individual challenge completed this year, which was Mahomes passing for over 5,000 yards, tying things up at six apiece. The Chiefs came to play this season, winning 13 games, just one off of the 14-win challenge, as the Patriots regressed quite a bit, winning only eight games. Mahomes was a touchdown pass shy of 45 this year, but he still balled out. Meanwhile, Travis Kelsey is still looking for the end zone. Brady had a shockingly bad year. I actually can't believe it. And Gronk wasn't offering too much help, it appears. New quarterback of the Lions, John Kirkpatrick, won MVP. Do the Chiefs got some fight in them for a Super Bowl appearance? Oh my goodness, yes they do, and they're going up against the Green Bay Packers. I'm so nervous for Patrick Mahomes going up against Randy Ramsey and the Green Bay Packers here in the Super Bowl, and as usual, we're gonna be super simming until there's something cool we can watch. I feel obligated to watch every field goal attempt because we really don't know if it's gonna be a field goal or not after how some of these games have been going, and it's not a field goal again, it's another fake!
AI, can they stop him? The Madden AI woke up feeling dangerous today. Here is another field goal attempt. Maybe. I don't even know at this point. It could be a fake. It's not. It's a real field goal. The Chiefs have a 3 nothing lead. To start the second quarter, the Chiefs have the ball inside of the red zone. First and 10 for Mahomes. Shotgun snap right here. Mahomes has a lot of time, and he's firing it across the middle, and Justin Robertson fights into the end zone for six. Randy Ramsey and the Packers looking to respond right here. First and goal from the two-yard line, and it is a give up the middle to who other than Aaron Jones. This first half has been electric so far. Here are the Chiefs now back inside of the red zone. Empty backfield for Mahomes, who's taking a shot into the end zone, and Justin Robertson has two touchdowns on the day. If you thought the first half was going to come to a close with no more opportunities for points, Randy Ramsey and the Packers are proving you guys wrong because he finds Romeo Dubs who breaks the tackle into the end zone. As time expired in the third quarter, Patrick Mahomes found Greg Carroll for a 22-yard touchdown. After a quick three and out by the Packers, the Chiefs find themselves over midfield once again, and Mahomes gets hit as he throws it, and it's intercepted by Jair Alexander. What a play. Oh my goodness, the Super Bowl's nuts. Here is a 55-yard field goal try to make this a seven-point ball game. The kick is real, and it's up, and it is off the crossbar. Oh my goodness, the Packers got doinked. In the next 12 seconds, the Packers need a touchdown, an onside kick recovery, and a field goal to send this to overtime, and Randy Ramsey's throwing it off his back foot to Jalen Watson, who is securing a Super Bowl victory for Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. After that electric Super Bowl, it's time to do this year's upgrades as the cops have eight points and the robbers have 24 points, and it looks like we are going to be boosting pocket stats yet again for Mahomes and Brady. Wow, these upgrades got Mahomes all the way up to a 99 overall. The lack of production from Gronk is probably the most surprising detail year after year, as, ooh, both tight ends are getting better hands now, and these upgrades helped Kelsey reach a 99 overall as well. After year four, the cops were unable to find themselves completing any challenges, while the robbers stole two more off the board as both members of the duo reached a 99 overall, and they won a Super Bowl. Before year five kicks off, some career stat challenges have the possibility of being completed as Mahomes just needs over 5,000 yards for 25,000 career passing yards, and Kelsey needs 121 catches for 500 career receptions. A slump season like this for the robbers could be huge if Brady and Gronk balled out. They had a better record and made the playoffs, but they desperately need to have crushed some seasonal stat challenges. I'm not a mathematician, but almost 5,200 yards through the air for Mahomes puts him over the 25,000 yard mark, and Kelsey finished with exactly 121 catches, putting him at exactly 500 career receptions. What is going on in New England? Are they not letting Tom cook? Gronk seems to get worse as his overall goes up. Lamar Jackson takes home MVP this year. Do the Patriots get a sympathy Super Bowl run? Unfortunately, they don't this time around, but congrats to Trey Lance and the Broncos on winning a Super Bowl. The cops have nine upgrade points while the robbers only have six, so there could be some minimal ground made up here for the cops as we are going to be boosting the throwing stats of both quarterbacks here. Now listen here, Gronk, you need to show a pulse in year six, so hopefully these upgrades suit him nicely as wow we are boosting catching stats yet again hopefully that means more catches for Gronk with the cops getting shut out again the robbers steal two more challenges off the board being 25,000 career passing yards and 500 career receptions making the robbers only three challenges away from victory Patrick Mahomes also needs one more passing touchdown to reach 200 so I think that's gonna happen here in year six this is just my second time ever seeing this in a Madden sim but the robbers went 17 and 0 rewarding them the 14 win challenge the cops had a good year too though with 10 wins themselves but they need to have crushed some single season challenges surprise surprise Mahomes cashes in on over 200 career passing touchdowns and I believe Travis Kelsey may have just walked it off recording 13 touchdowns this season securing both single season touchdown challenges it just doesn't look like it was meant to be for Brady and the Pats and Gronk still hasn't shown a pulse Dak Prescott won MVP so that's how you know that this is Madden could we see the dream matchup in the playoffs bro the Chiefs really didn't lose a game all year just to get popped after their first round by and the Raiders who beat the Chiefs actually won the whole thing so props to them with another shutout for the cops the robbers have completed the 12 touchdown catch challenge the 10 touchdown catch challenge the 200 career passing touchdown challenge and the 14 or more wins in a season challenge putting their challenge completed total to 14 making them the winners and the newly crowned greatest duo of all time is Madden trying to say that Mahomes and Kelsey are on pace to be better than Brady and Gronk let me know if you agree down below in the comments and if you want to see more great content click here